a day is going to come on earth look at me ladies and gentlemen i'm sure it will not be very long from now we will wake up one morning like every other day don't you think you are just going to hear bah. no if you didn't hear it and you are remaining it means you didn't make it <laughs> laugh but take it serious because it will happen it's not a parable let me tell you what will happen the bible says in a moment in a twinkling of an eye please blink your eye for me that's it that is how fast it will happen repeat it again have you ever had an event so miraculous and so sudden it didn't say in five minutes in a moment a twinkling of an eye an event will happen on earth that has never been recorded billions of graves will open in a moment loved ones some of them you have never seen them all these people these missionaries that died inside holes water all kinds of places you would see a glorious transition that resurrection i don't mean to scare you but please listen to the other version the greatest catastrophe more than world war ii is what will be happening coincidentally because when about 2.6 billion people professing christians exit this earth in a moment what if the person exiting is the pilot flying you what if the person exiting is the one responsible for some nuclear plant somewhere you think they will wait for you no that moment just like this and that's it you will see bibles on earth you will see him books left in churches unfortunately there will still be many people in those buildings and they will say what has suddenly happened the bible says two people will be lying together one will leave and leave the other one there others will be grinding their thing to go and cook for their families the other one will say no more issue of cooking i'm on my way going and you will see that glorious exit we will wave this version of earth goodbye do you know why because of the power of his resurrection at that point death will no longer have power over us we will not live by blood again no the reign of living by blood ends the moment that trumpet sounds the ministry of blood in our lives would have come to an end we will live by another life the reality the fullness of the earnest of that expectation that that ministry of the spirit the culmination of that salvation experience happens and we are with jesus and let me tell you this i don't mean to scare you it is that catastrophe on earth that will lead to the ministry of the antichrist are you seeing now the chaos in the earth will be too much there will be a need for a religious and a political leader to bring the earth in peace because the chaos will be too much nations and governments will crumble overnight and a world leader will come and say find peace his intelligence and his acumen he will he will bring a level of peace that you cannot imagine and with that peace the bible says for a period of about three and a half years and then he will unleash hell hell that will make world war ii look like humanitarian services i don't mean to scare you this is the word of god it's called written judgment no prayer warrior can change it all over the world and even in this place you are listening to me the resurrection is God's determination to see that we never end up in eternal damnation celebrating Easter by just eating chicken and jumping and saying whoa I'm happy is a complete waste of that that event the ceremony of it is not where the power comes from it is the commemoration of it the commemoration of it means that you take to heart the significance of it someday jesus is going to come and this life is over as we know it no more banks no more universities no more oil and gas no more certificates no more going to the mall to buy anything 
all the terrorists will leave them there i don't know who they will attack everything you've been trying to hide in your house you're about to go and leave it the pit you dug in your house to hide money you will leave it there as you go i hate to be a bearer of bad news but some of you as you are now you are not going i'm not a prophet of doom it is by the integrity of god's word there are people who will laugh at us when they hear us say these things as though we're just doing some spiritual gibberish can i tell you everybody in hell is a believer the only difference is that they believe too late i don't want to scare you with all the eschatological realities that will happen after this first flight that all those who do not make this first flight let me tell you what will happen the bible says because of the torture and the persecution that will happen that people will go to the mountain and beg death this death you are running away from now people will look for it and death will say my ministry is over i have not I'm, i can't people will beg death when hell and everything to be unleashed will be unleashed some of you will be on your way going and you will look down and you will see your biological mother behind some of you will get up and you are already that power of resurrection is already in you but you will turn and see all your siblings they will say what is happening and you have to leave every time i look at a dead body two things come to my mind number one every dead body also saw a dead body in his lifetime and now he is that dead body that others are looking at can i tell you this money will not resurrect you education will not resurrect you tithes and offerings will not resurrect you there is only one basis for the resurrection because he resurrected jesus he's given me the basis to know that in life and in death death has been defeated spiritually and will be perfected at that last trump for a long time we heard that jesus is coming soon and for many people they are laughing coming soon two thousand years there are two ways jesus comes soon he comes or you go the day you leave jesus has come for you let me repeat i'm not scaring you you will live long but can i tell you even if you live 120 years which is the benchmark we're giving you can stretch through right but i assure you by god even lazarus who jesus raised still died everybody who was raised from the dead still died so it is not just the physical living in this body i am the resurrection and i am the life you can hear this preacher preaching and just laugh and say wow he's preaching well on that day when we leave this sermon will be behind to teach you don't give your life to christ under cruelty of the wickedness that will be devil this world when we are gone do you know what it means for the earth to be pitch darkness the bible teaches that the evangelists that will remain when we are gone are the jews because everyone who names the name of christ will be gone and it is only some of them who although they came from abraham do not believe this truth they will now go back the bible will suddenly become the bestseller after rapture everyone will be looking for the bible to check what else will happen we laughed at this group of people laughing at them and saying they were wasting their times everybody will pick bibles free and have to read and they will find it there people will cry and wail and say god come back they say no this second one it will not just be by you dying and going the trumpet has sounded it has sounded